These powers include facilitating acting appointments of departmental heads and provincial administrators. The acting appointment will be made only when the agency head is absent from office for more than 10 days due to short leave or duty travel. And there is a need for an extension of acting appointments when the three months of acting appointment has lapsed. Minister Soroy Eowe adding that the delegated authority to make acting appointment as a result of disciplinary action is the head of state upon advice from NEC. The minister further clarified permanent appointments based on merit. These are made by the head of state. However, stringent measures have been put in place to strengthen merit-based appointments. Under this process, candidates will be screened by the Public Service Commission. Three preferences will be made to the minister for NEC deliberation, who then advised the head of state to make the appointment. The minister says during the tenure of the appointment, all NEC appointees are subjected to regular performance management process. This enables them to develop key result areas to measure against their term in office. Their performance is monitored and reports submitted to the Department of Personal Management for record purposes. As part of the government reform initiatives, the department has taken on board all initiatives as part of the public service reforms. The minister says the government is reviewing all areas of the public service and a report of this public sector reforms will be presented to the parliament. Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News.